look what Celebrity is doing just for kids. Dog I ever knew. He's the best above the rest. Get ready now, he's coming food. Girl, the circus is chock full of surprises. Hey, you mutts! Hold your bag of bones out of here! <laughs> now I'm gonna miss the circus. Oh, drop the boo-boo face, Rocky Girl. Where there's a foof, there's a way. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Wrangling Circus! This is wonderful, Uncle Foofer. <laughs> Where do you check out our seat, Rocky Girl? Now, why would three crumbs like you come to the circus? Are you kidding? <laughs> we never get out of selling this second. <laughs> Tough luck, kid. Now, the Wrangling Circus proudly presents Skimpole in his fabulously fearless Frick and Flack. <laughs> Those two are just great. And uh, now the big finish. <laughs> I bet you I could do that, Uncle Fufa. Pee Yui, send them back to the pound. Hey, it's a crummy crowd tonight. You two were terrific as always. For our next act, ladies and gentlemen, you're our best cheerleader, Huxley. Huxley, the acrobatic ape. <laughs> The circus was simply absolutely fantastical. Mm, I don't want to go home, Uncle Foofer. I want to meet freaking Freck. Can I please? Well, I don't see how, Rocky Girl. They're big time circus stars, you know. Uh, I don't want to go home, Sammy. Ew, I'm so hungry. Come on, brothers. Our fun ain't over yet. Ooh, Rad, let's get out of here. Rad! Hey, where'd everybody go there? <laughs> We're in junk food heaven. <laughs> Them. Hmm. Try 
anything to hide, Skimpole? <laughs> How's my favorite boss? That was the worst dog act I ever saw! Come up with something new, or you're fired! But, 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 but how can I? You can't teach old dogs new tricks, you know. Where are you, troops? Man, being lost is a righteous bummer. Mm -hmm. Freeze, catgut! That's our steak you're drooling on! Hey, back off, rats! Fresh meat. Just how am I supposed to do that? Oh, well, raise my rent. That pup's a natural performer. I'm not going to hurt you, pup. I'm going to make you a star. Oh. There you are, Foofa. Come on, troops. What it is? We gotta find Rocky. Come on. If you can teach old dogs new tricks, get a new dog. I'll build a whole new act around this pup. Am I really gonna be a star just like you? There are no other stars like us. And we don't work with amateurs. Rocky! <laughs> Let's hang tight, Coop. It's a real jungle out here tonight. I'm gonna really be in show business? Wow! Oh. Hey, that's Uncle Foofer. I forgot all about him. <laughs> <laughs> That's what keeps those troublemakers out. Uh, Uncle Foofer! Uh, uh. Must make with that racket. But I gotta tell my Uncle Foofer. I'm gonna be a real circus star. Mighty sure of herself, isn't she, Frick? I've never ever seen anything like it, Frick. Good night. Let's dig our way back in there, Fufa. No can do, Lewis. We'd never find Rocky with those goons on our tails. But we'll stay put in case she comes out. Now, who wants to stand watch? I gladly volunteer myself and Lewis, darling. You can depend on us there, Fufa. <laughs> hey, up and out of troops. You fell asleep at your posts. <clears throat> we were just resting our eyeballs, no? Great jumping horn toes! Look! Darlings, the circus has gone poof. But what happened to Rocky there? Maybe we could, like, uh, ask around. Correction, Fencer. If you've lost something, don't ask around. Ask a rat. Eh, not a bad haul for one night, eh, brothers? Eh, uh, listen up, rats. We're looking for Rocky Girl. Haven't seen her, have you? The kid's lost? We ain't no Bureau of Mission pups, you know. Cork it, Chucky! I'll help you, Swoofer. Let me check my sources. It was with Sammy! 
He's flipped his peanut. All right, Rats, out of the can. We're looking for a cute little mutt named Rocky. Use Crumb Cena? Well, big shot, maybe we have and maybe we haven't. Uh, what'll you give us? Guys like you give us Rats a bad name. I can't believe you gave those mugs half our haul. Who cares about a grubby pup anyway? Say you're not a word and I yanks your whiskers out. Okay, okay, I'm with you, Sherry. No more questions, okay? Spill it, Sammy. Did they see Rocky? <laughs> I got him to squeal like a couple of rats. Some creep named Skimple nabbed the kid. They pulled out with a circus last night. And are setting up in another town, Pineville. Once more, pup. Try it again for Skimple. <laughs> no, no, watch it. <laughs> A simple little backflip, and you can't do it. You're hopeless. So, how's the new act, Skimpole? Ready for tonight's opening performance? Uh, sure, I'm just working a few bugs out of it. <laughs> I don't like bug acts. I had a flea circus once that drove me buggy. No, no. Let me explain, boss. <laughs> Better face it, kiddo. You're not cut out for show business. <laughs> and you call yourselves circus stars? That was real crummy. When we started under the big tub, we were twice as lousy as she is. But we helped each other out. That's what performers do, remember? Help each other out? I can't make heads or tails of this train schedule, troops. Hope the Rat Brothers are having better luck. The train to Pineville? Yeah, train smains. They all look alike to us, Pops. Point it out, will you? Uh, what did you give us, Shuddy? <laughs> <laughs> You give him half of what we got left? Why are you doing this to us? I got my reasons. What do you want your face squished again? Hey, you're the boss, Sammy. This is it. Looks like Pineville to me. All aboard. <laughs> Steam's up. Track's clear. Roll it. Wrong train. Man, someone smells like fertilizer. Hey, cool it with the heavy breathing, will you? There's a real live grade A bull in here, group. <laughs> Hey, 
Check it out, troops. We're off to save Rocky after all. Step right up, folks. The show is about to begin. Please, Pop, try it again. It's showtime. That's it, dog. No more, Mr. Nice Guy. I know what you need. He's going to get the whip. I'll never learn that dumb old trick. We'll tell you a trade secret. Forget about being up in the air. Imagine you're walking in line on the ground. Eyes straight ahead. Don't look down. By Jove, she did it! Do it again, Pop! Higher! Do it higher! Oh, no, you don't! You're not running out on me now, Pop! You're gonna be a star and like it! Don't worry, kiddo. The show will go on. But not necessarily with you in it. We'll help you escape during your act. It does not look good, Fufur, darling. Relax, troops. We just got our ticket inside. Ladies and gentlemen, Skimmerpole and his fabulously fearless freaking Frick plus one! Plan the better work for it. <laughs> you call that new? A dumb backflip? Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, this pup will do the same trick 60 feet in the air. <gasps> Up there? Jump, kiddo, run for it. Hey, pipe down, Jumbo. I'm a rat, not a mouse. All right, all right. Who spoke the elephants? I'll get you. Beat it, banana breath. Show him you're a star, Pop. Backflip! Backflip! Wreck my act, will you? Hurry, kiddo, run! No, no, go away! Hey, what's the matter? Can't you see when a fellow rat needs help? Hey, what do you do? When this is over, I'm turning in my rat union card. Keep this dude busy while I make a grab for Rocky. <laughs> Gotcha, Rocky girl. You are mutt meat. We performers have to help each other out. Oops, Rocky. Get a bang out of this! Follow me, troops! Rocky <laughs> girl! Grab hold, troops! Now, now they're over there!
soul. Good night, you are a star. I'll never forget you two. No, no, I'm ruined, ruined. Congratulations, Skimpole, bravissimo, greatest comedy dog act I ever saw. You'll do the exact same thing to end the circus every night. Every night? And then I was shot out of a real cannon, and then... Tell us about it later, Rocky. Oh, yes, you need to sleep. Well, well, well take a nap. You're tired. Next time, we'll take her to the circus. Oh, yes, and keep her out of uh, the, the trouble. Oh, my. Yeah, we hear you, ladies. Psst. Hey, Rocky. We all squared up, right? You saved me, I saved you. We're even. Not quite, Sammy. Hey, give me a break, kid. You can get joins kissing a dog. Good morning. It's another great day in the Big Apple. Come on, Trips. We're holding up traffic. <laughs> Mr. Wadsworth. The Chinese ambassador's chow chow. <laughs> nice work, Beckerman. Of all my crazy collections, this will be my best. Dogs from around the world. <laughs> Russian ambassador and his dog now. Out for his daily walk. Get that dog, Beckerman. Boris, keep a sharp eye on Vladimir. <laughs> ah, comrade ambassador. Ice skating is fantastic, no? What do you think, Foof? Oh, definitely cool, Lewis, my man. Yeah, I used to come here all the time as a pup. Apologies, but I am no bomb. I am Vladimir Bowski Vowskivich, proud pet from the USSR. That's Russia. It, the Russian mutt's playing with some strays. Close in, Beckerman. Since Lewis grew up in New York, why well, he's shown us the town. Ah, I would love to sightsee. I have seen nothing of America. Well, then join us, Vlad, my man. We'll show you the sights. Impossible, comrade Fufer. Look. Have you not heard of the diplomat dognapper? Have you not heard of American ingenuity? I am under constant guard. Well, this dog's got just a plan. <laughs> We're taking Vladimir along for two of the town troops, but first we've got to ditch a goon that's tailing him. 
Count me out, Foof. I ain't helping no Rusty here. Lewis will be cool after he chills out. Listen up. Here's what we'll do. Hey, Vladimir, what you call it? No foreigner's gonna muscle in an awkward time. <laughs> See here, you overstuffed American Motsky. Run for troops. Forest, look up! This is it, Lewis. I always wanted to see the World Series. There's nothing more American than baseball. It's the greatest game in the world. No, no. Russia has the world's greatest game. Tractor pool. And I say it's baseball. Where are you, my little Russian hot dog? And here's the pitch. That's gonna be a home run. Let's catch it. <laughs> that Russian nut's rushing right this way. <laughs> That's the way the old baseball bounces. We're two neck, my man. Time's a waste. There it is, boys. The Empire State Building. On that stick off. That building's bad. Pretty hip, huh? It is okay. Okay? That's one of the tallest buildings in the wild. It's okay. It is tall. But in Russia, we make everything wide. Vladimir? Uh, his name is Vladimir. He has been stolen by the diplomat dog napper. I just know it. Uh, I must return to my master. Well, we'll get you back like it is split. Move out, troops! Oh! <laughs> hey, hey, hit the brakes, man. Hey, what's going on here? This crummy gizmo grabbed the wrong nut. Come on, troops. We gotta save Lewis. Oh. Mission accomplished. <laughs> that Rusky saved my skin there. <laughs> Hurry, troops! He's getting away! <laughs> He's right under us! We gotta cut him off there! There's the creep, Poofa! Put your paws to the pavement, gang! Mug's taking the elevator, Poofa. We gotta get up there pronto. And that's the ticket. Follow my lead, troops. Beckerman, that takes care of Russia. They're keeping puppy dog prisoner. These guys must be the diplomatic dog nappers. Spring them troops while I keep those creeps busy. <laughs> Sorry, Vlad boy. Those 
crumbs are definitely un-American. <laughs> nice pooch. <laughs> nice pow wow. Back off, Mont. Fulfer! <laughs> we hit the <laughs> home run, huh? Yeah, that's an old trip from the Lower East Side. Where did you pick it up? <laughs> Mother Russia. This way. <laughs> we gotta bail out of here. You won't get away that easy. Stop. I'll get you. Hoover, it's definitely time to get down. <laughs> oh, no. Freeze, you dog nappers. You're under arrest. Vladimir, come! My American comrades, you are, how do you say, <laughs> okidoski! Well, the feeling's mutual, my man. Hey, Vladimir, what you gonna call it? Say hello to Mother Russia for me. I'd like to meet her someday. Vladimir, come! Well, troops, whether it's USSR or US of A, under the fur, we're all just V-O-G. Now, Hazel, stand still. But I just can't believe it. My old boyfriend, Kirk, coming to see me after all these years. Oh, how do I look, Annabelle? Oh, dear me. Is he really on the uh, uh, police force? Oh, much better than that. He's on the bomb rescue squad. I do look all right, don't I? <laughs> Poor Hazel is in for a surprise, my darlings. By now, this old boyfriend of hers must be very old, out of shape, and he cannot be half as charming as fabulous Fritz Carlos. So you're not jealous? Me? Jealous? Never. Ranger, that was the bravest thing I ever saw. It was nothing, really. Are you kidding? That took real guts. Fantastico. What is your name, you daring darling? Kirk! Hazel, you haven't changed one bit. That, 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 that is Kirk. You saved a whole bank from blowing up? I was just doing my job, really. Oh, don't be shy, Kirk. Show us how you did it. Hazel has forgotten all about our Fritz Carlos. Pretend this room is the bank. Yeah. And that bookcase is the bank safe. Yeah. 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 And that clock is the bomb. <gasps> I jumped the front counter. Then I moved in very, very carefully. <laughs> Big deal. I will show Hazel that I can do better. I will save you, darlings! <gasps> Fritz Carlos, what are you doing? Quick! Everyone, jump! Oh, my Bob! My Bob! Oh, oh. oh, you made that so realistic, Kirk. That was a bomb squad no-no, Fritz Carlos. Never leap before you look. You just blew up the living room. Oh, um, Look those paws, my man. Are you sure this will give me fantastic muscles, Vancel, darling? No! Oh. Ah. Now you're in the groove, Fritz, baby. Oh. What in tarnation are those two doing now? One. Two. One. Hey, cut the racket, Fritzy. I must keep exercising or I will lose my hazel to that muscle-bound boyfriend. But there's no way you're gonna be a 200-pound hunk. So chill out. Hazel digs you just the way you are, Fritzy. Yeah, so what if you're not the hero type, my man? Did you say hero? 
Fritz Carlos will be a hero. So, when Hazel comes to dust, shake the statue so it looks like it is going to fall. Then I will run in and save her. Yes, no? Here comes my darling now. <laughs> Look out, Hazel Darling! What are you yelling about, Fritz Carlos? Hurry! Mm, my darling, mm, I'm trying to save you. Hazel, darling, uh, are you all right? Yeah, yes, I think so. I'm going to tell all my friends. Oh, it was nothing, really. <laughs> <laughs> it's Mrs. Escrow. Scatter troops. Help oh, her. Oh, 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 <laughs> 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 we'll smoke detectors help sell this house, officer? Better than that, ma'am. They might keep it from burning to the ground. This is the fire season, you know. <laughs> We are like the sardines in a can, no? Quiet, Fritzy. There is no escape from Pepe. Aha! I see you! Hey, come on, Pepe, cut us some slack. Huh? You mean we're hiding because of this rug rat? Beat it, small fry, before someone squishes you. Do, 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 do not come closer. I have you surrounded. <laughs> He is not so brave. Cork is a phony baloney, no? Hey, be cool, Fritzy. No, he's right, Foofer. Oh, they, they took me off the bomb rescue squad when I developed this reaction to sudden loud sounds. Oh, you are one nervous wreck, no? Can we keep this a secret between just us guys, please? No sweat, my man. These lips are zipped. Right, Fritzy? <laughs> Darling, I have just learned that Cork is a phony baloney. He is an absolute coward. Uh huh, and I'm a Doberman pincher. But, but, uh. Fritz Carlos, how could you tell such lies about Kirk? Uh, but I can prove it. Hey, cool it, Fritzy. Now don't let the cat out of the bag. There he is, you guys. Can Matthew and Jojo see you do some of your bomb squad and stuff? Hey, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> All right. If you insist, well, let's go out back. <laughs> I will prove that I'm not lying. Guess we'll have to start without my friend Ozzy. He's late. All right, then. Here we go. <laughs> I must find something nasty and noisy to scare Kirk with, no? Time to knock off, Charlie! <gasps> Perfect, oh, oh, you beautiful noisemaker, darling. <laughs> Just a few more puffs and ba-boom! This will send Kark running for the hills, no? <laughs> ha! This will crash their little party. <laughs> I'll show them the real Kark. My mom, run for cover! What do you think of your hero now, my darlings? Run for cover! Run! How shameful, Fritz Carlos, taking advantage of Kirk's condition like that. You sunk to a new low there, Fritz Carlos. 
but, uh, but, but I was only... Trying to make yourself look better. That's real uncool, Fritzy. <laughs> hey, that smells like a fire, troops. I'll show you I can be a real hero, Hazel, darling. Come back, Fritz Carlos! <laughs> well, I'll bail him out of there. Stay where you are. You're not trained in fire rescue. <laughs> we are trapped. Fritz Carlos, where are you? <laughs> Did you see what that dog just did? Yeah, he's a natural. <laughs> I was... I was wrong, Cork. You are truly a hero. You're not bad yourself, for an amateur. <laughs> well, congratulations on your new gig with the fire department. But won't the loud fire truck siren bother you, Cork? Not with these, Rocky Darling. <laughs> that, my Fritz Carlos. Fritz, such a little dog, you've always had a big heart. <laughs> okay, troops, I don't anybody move. Gee, Uncle Flooper, I never knew it took so many dogs to change a light bulb. Whose bright idea was this, anyway? Cool it down there. I'm trying to concentrate. Hi, everybody. Need any other help? You can help by being careful, Annabelle, honey. Uh, better yet, just don't come near us there, okay? Well, if that would have to help. Oh! Could everyone, like, stand on their tippy toe? Oh, my. That could be uh, dangerous. <laughs> Oh, dear. Uh, whoopsie. Are you heard of the uh, Omegalus? Why don't you ever do what I tell you, Annabelle? This housekeeping never works fine. It's Mrs. Escrow, troops. We better light out of here quick as a flash. This is so exciting. A real secret agent staying in this house. It's just like in the movies, Agent Hawkeye. That's what they all say, ma'am. I just can't believe that nice Mr. Muffin across the street is a real international smuggler. That's the facts, ma'am. Are you going to arrest him? When he makes a break for it, ma'am. Did you wow. oh, I could have a This is really big, no, Hazel Darling? If you mean a big, fat mess, yes. Hmm, this guy could open up his own pawn shop. Uncle Boo! You better unwind, Rocky Girl. Look, it's Mel and Harvey. No! Those dog catchers are talking to that smuggler, Mr. Mutton. Look what you've done to my car. You wanted fast service, Mr. Mutton, so we didn't even use our brakes. Did you bring the dog I asked for? I'm terribly late. We got just the mutt, Mr. Mutton. Get it all? I said a big dog, not some pint-sized pooch. I need a dog that fills this color and this cage. Uh, it must have been Harvey's mistake, sir. Since I have an important plane to catch, this flea bag will have to do. <laughs> that sounds like a, a, my friend Lulu. Rescue alert, troops. Let's spring that little lady. You'd better stay put, Annabelle. Uh, but, Louis, I, I, I want to help. You'll just get in the way, honey. But, but... Do as I say for once and stay in the house. I'll just show him uh, what I can do, uh, how much help I can be. And I was just telling your nice agent, Hawkeye, this is just like being in a movie. Chief, looks like Mutton is ready to make a break for it. Wait, something's happening. Get in there, doggy! 
Hurry, hurry! My plane! Any when you are, Foof. It's now or never. Hazel and Rocky are making their move. Grab the net, Harvey! Why that bit of the trunk? I mean the hood. The door to Lulu's cage open. Lulu! Lulu! <laughs> the right size. <laughs> What's the idea? Let us show! Oh, dear me, this, uh, uh, isn't the dog catcher struck? Gotcha! You'll regret this, butts! <laughs> that guy's stealing my Annabelle! Save her now! Well, hit your ride with that secret agent man, my man. All aboard, troops! <laughs> Good luck, you heroic darlings. You will need it. Chief, it looks like mutton smuggling diamonds in a dog collar. I'm closing it on. Oh, we what a roller coaster ride. to be frightened about. We're experiencing a little turbulence. Please fasten your seatbelts. What's with the life vest, Lewis? I ain't taking any chances there, Fufa. Yeah, and I'm being twice as careful with an extra large. Help! 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 I'll save you, my man. <laughs> Are you all right? 
In heaven, Louis, baby. I found us some food. Mmm, -hmm. We having fish, folks. Those TV commercials are right, Evelyn. This airline has fast service. Time to chow down, group. We'll have to eat slowly. Looks like this bird's flying all the way to London. Welcome to London. We hope you have enjoyed your flight. There's Annabelle now! Hey, relax, my man. Those British cops will nab mutton when they see that diamond collar. Keep a sharp eye, officer. They're looking for a gang of smugglers using dogs as carriers. Hey, what are we here, eh? It looks like illegal diamonds. Oh, I'm afraid it's just glass, Inspector Drummond. Um, sorry to trouble you, Obi. I should hope so. Hey, don't let them get away. Hold it, Lewis. I'm coming, Annabelle! <laughs> I say, stop those animals! <laughs> You got the goods then, eh, Mutton? Lewis! Let's hurry off before we're noticed! <laughs> hey! Who turned out the lights? Oh, Cabby! <laughs> Okay, big guy. Yeah, but I lost Annabelle. <laughs> and I'm plumb out of ideas, troops. Sounds like a job for Winston of Scotland Yard. I'm quickened with the British Bowser Brigade. Can this Winston guy find a pack of dirty dog nappers? He's only the greatest crime fighting dog in all London, he is. You best take along that sticker. It might be a valuable clue. <laughs> the pony collar worked like a charm. They never even bought to check for cage. Perfect plates for hundred pound notes. We make money the old fashioned way. We print it. <laughs> Put the new dog with a pup. Hello, ducks. Just join the team. No, I've been uh, kidnapped. I wouldn't be in this uh, trouble out yes if I listened to Lewis. Ah, oh, don't take it so hard. It's a good life here. Oh, Mutton takes us all over the world. I don't want to, oh, my goodness, go all over the world. I just want to go out to home. <laughs> Terribly sorry, Agent Hawkeye. Just let Winston out for a bit of a romp. Welcome to Scotland Yard, home of England's finest detectives. You can come out, Yanks. I've been expecting you. Hey, buddy, are you Winston of Scotty's Yard? Quite right, Yank. And I know all about the dog napping. That's amazing. Elementary. Quickens howled ahead. And when he clues. Well, just a swain coat, my man. Hmm. The fibrous compound seems perfectly innocent. Difficult to make any deductions yet. Well, what about that strange smell, Winston? Hmm, I say that is odd. I'll try chemical analysis next. Hey, check this out. A note. Big Ben, three o'clock. Yanks, this will be the easiest case I've solved yet. <laughs> Whew. Now I know why they call it Big Ben. Just a little farther, Yanks. I calculate the smugglers should appear any moment now. I settle down. We're almost there. Hurry, mate. Hide. Hey, that guy's got Annabelle with him. I'm coming, honey. <laughs> no, no, Lewis. Ah! <laughs> 
in London. He'll never find us here. We can't take any chances. I want all this muck out of here and get rid of them two mutts. But we'll need a big dog to carry the plate, sir. Oh, very well. But duck the pup down the hatch. <gasps> <gasps> down the hatch? Blimey. Tea time, Yanks. <laughs> root, root, be in there. Leave off that. Oh, steady old gov. <laughs> Official business. Oh, sorry, Winston, sir. Didn't recognize you. Hang on a minute. The Bowser Brigade? Quite right. Jolly good old bean. Ever had fish and chip shanks? Now you're talking my language. Aren't you gonna chow down, Lewis? You guys go ahead. I ain't hungry. I'm too worried about Annabelle. We're all worried, my man. But you gotta keep up your strength. Whoa. That smells just like that raincoat. The fish and chips? No, the newspaper. Blimey! Now, that's a clue. Come on! They can't dump me in the sewer. I'm just a pup. Oh, dear, oh, me. I wish I could uh, do something. I can't swim, neither. But I always uh, mess things up. <laughs> I've got to do something. Maybe I can, um, break the door open and, uh, escape. Ah! Oh! Hurry, Annabelle, before they come back. Well, hello. What's this? Get up, all here. Every newspaper in London is printed here on Fleet Street. Well, this is the place, all right. But it smells the same in every direction. <laughs> That's Annabelle's bark. She's in that building! <laughs> Don't waste your time with that one. I'll take the pup instead. Lewis, can you come to a rescue and save me? Just stay put, Annabelle, honey. <laughs> Make your move, Mats. <laughs> Let's take those two creeps out to dry. So you want to play rough, do you, mates? Whoa! <laughs> Looks like we hooked ourselves a couple of big ones. Oh, hurry, everybody. We must find a... That poor pup all in... I'll call for help. This is a job for the British Bowser Brigade. Back off, Mutt. Back off. This will stop us uh, slowing down. I'll throw out the anchor. I don't blink 
can believe this? Help! Help! Oh, oh, oh my! Oliver! <laughs> Where are you, Annabelle? <laughs> <laughs> This cat's not waterproof, you know. Oh, I'm glad you're all right, honey. <laughs> Blimey! <laughs> I'm falling away from those. <laughs> Hello, country's going to the dogs. <laughs> Bridges. I assure you, Agent Hawkeye, Scotland Yard is right on top of this smuggling case. <laughs> Let's camper, mates. Not so fast, but... Well, well, if it isn't Big Ben himself. But, Inspector, we were just passing by friendly-like. <laughs> Those plates are all the evidence I need. Lock them up, officers. I told you we should never have gotten mixed up with dogs. Did you hear, Annabelle? I'm joining the British Bowser Brigade. And I'll never forget what you did for me. Yeah, she's really something, ain't she? <laughs> Oh, Lewis, you think so after all the uh, trouble I caused? Next time I promise to uh, pay more attention to your advice. And after seeing how you can take care of yourself, I won't worry about you so much. Come on, gang, we got a plane to catch. Hope you enjoyed your trip, Yanks. Oh, it made quite an impression on Lewis. Quiet, Fofa. I told you not to mention it there. <laughs> Come on, show him, Lewis. Oh, somebody should have turned off that printing press. Oh, my goodness. I haven't had this much fun since I was a, a puppy. Darling, this is the most fantastic snow dog ever. Yes, no, Rocky? I just wish there was more snow so we can make a bigger one. Just sit tight, Rocky girl. Looks like a mighty big snowstorm is a brewing. <laughs> Up two troops. Sounds like Mrs. Escrow's coming. gave anyone the cold shoulder. Okay, Nehi, what's on that little mind of yours? Mommy has brought home a ferocious new dog, and my life is in danger. His name is Killer. First he butted me down, then he threw me across the room. Darling, all dogs eat raw meat. But Killer devoured it in one go. Oh. In the name of dogdom, help me. I'll give you my ration of steaks, my squeaky toys, anything. Help me, or I'm a dead little doggy. <sighs> Happy boy, that store's as shaky as a pig on still. Abba, uh, Abba, uh, Hoover, what if he's uh, telling the truth? This old honker can smell a con a mile away. And right now, I've got to move up wind. I'm with Uncle Foofer. I wish you'd reconsider. You doggies will be sorry! Uh, hold up there, Peppy. Did you say uh, something about squeaky toys? And uh, steaks, darling? Yes, yes, oh, yes! 
And that is what it will cost you. With my fantastic military genius and Lewis Darling's blubber body, we will dispose of this monster. It is a deal, yes, no? It is a deal! The coast is clear. Why didn't you use the big door? It's not locked. Get me out of here! Oh, no, shush! A killer will hear you! I told you to shush! Behind you! It's killer! Oh, no! That's killer? He is not much of a monster, darling. Help me! Help me! Come on, Peppy! Let's play! See? See? He's trying to kill me! Come on, dear. Puppy's got to play, you know. <gasps> oh, no! That's Mommy's car! Has my little killer dealer been a good puppy? <laughs> Look ums what I brought for you. <laughs> Sorry, Peppy dear. Mommy only brought one biscuit. You don't mind, do you? He's destroying my life. We must get rid of him. Look, Bub, we ain't gonna hurt no harmless little pup. We had a deal. Jealousy never suits anyone, Peppy darling. And on you, it's a terrible thing. I'm not jealous, and the deal is off. Wanna come inside and play, Peppy? No, go away. Wait, I've got a better idea. Why don't you come outside and play? Whoa, but I'm too big for the door, silly. First we'll play, open the door. What next? What next? We'll have a race. There's a butcher shop in town with sausages in the window. Whoever gets there first gets all the sausages. <laughs> See you around, sucker! There they are. I see them. It's Carlos. You have me scared to death. We saw Pepe's horrible monster. That scheming runt wanted us to get rid of a cute puppy dog there. Yep, sounds like his speed, all right. That little squirt can be more dangerous than a sack full of cats. Oh, oh dear, dear me. Oh, Fufa, we must help that poor pup. Let's hit it, troops. Go away, doggies. Hey, now, don't get your fur in the front, Peppy. We're just, uh, sniffing around. What, puppy? Whoop. Hmm. Now, it's funny you should say that, my man. I don't know what you're talking about, the blue face. Well, you want to play games, eh, Squirt? Peppy! Okay, okay. So I let the mangy monster outside. Big deal. You'd better tell us where he went. What do I look like, a puppy sitter? Come on, troops. Forget about this flea ball. We gotta find Killer. I must find Killer before those do gooders bring him back. I'll get rid of him permanently. Oh, for darling, it is simply too hard to walk in the snow. Well, maybe the foo can do something about that. Bingo! There's our ticket into town. All aboard, troops! Oh, 
Mmm, puppy smell. Check it out, Lewis. That's it, Pooper. That's killer. Let's heat up this trail, troops. There he is, Fufa. Here's where I teach you a lesson. All right, troops, I've got a plan. Annabelle, you run in and lead the butcher away, and we'll grab Killer. So, another thieving stray. I'll get you! Uh, not high enough. Fritzy, hop on my shoulder. Hey, Tate Barnum, eat your heart out, darling. Fufa! Fufa! Annabelle! Where did you want me to run to? Well, not back here. More nuts! I'll be selling you as hot dogs. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Hey, hey, not that way, killer! Yes, this way! We have to save Happy! Perhaps we should think this over, Fufa, darling. I know I'm gonna regret this, but let's hit it, troops! He's in here somewhere! <laughs> Looking sharp, Peppy. Blue is definitely your color. We must get him home to warm him up! I hate to say this, but thank you, doggies, for saving my life. Well, it wasn't us, my man. You should thank Killer. Are we going to stand out here all day? I'm freezing! Thank you, Killer. Now, isn't that the cutest thing? I told you those two love each other, Mrs. Buzzington. Why don't I keep Killer another month for you? Another month? <laughs> like I always say, Rocky Girl, it's better to be true blue than green with envy. Hey, get this! <laughs> I'm a real fashion plate, ain't I? Oh, look, everyone. The doggy fashion show is tomorrow. Let's nose around right now, darling. We must keep up with the latest fashions, yes, no? Well, come on, troops. Never let it be said that strays don't have style. Hmm, what have we here? Those dudes look like bedroom slippers. Split, Boof. That puny Peppy's on the prowl. Easy, man. What are the chances of running into that run in a place this size? <laughs> As I was saying, troops, hit the deck! You forgot to cover the rear, fat doggy! Look, Peppy. Cousin Roberto and Bridget are finally here. Oh, thank you for letting us stay with you, Cousin Amelia. If we don't win tomorrow's fashion show, my Togs and Tags clothing line is bankrupt. You mustn't worry. Bridget's the best doggy model in the business. Ah! Oh. What's with Peppy, Uncle Foofer? Is he sick? <laughs> the words love sick, Rocky Girl. Two minutes to dress rehearsal. We must go watch the dress rehearsal, yes, no? Well, let's not push our luck, troops. Time to head for home. Look, everybody. I'm a model, too. <laughs> <laughs> it's Mrs. Escrow. Duck and cover, troops. <laughs> Mama still hasn't fixed that faucet upstairs. This time I have you! Well, if you have us, you...
you'll never have the love of your life. What do you mean, blue face? Oh, it's just that I saw how you flipped over that pretty poodle. You cover for us, and I'll fix it so that cute little thing is eaten out of your paw. You've got a deal, dog face. No need a pan for that leak. Good boy, Peppy. Maybe there's one under the sink. Mommy will only be a minute. What's with the little dude? Well, I told Peppy if he bailed us out, we'd help him snag the dog of his dream. How can I ever get a date with her? She's so beautiful. Oh, give her flowers. Uh, yes, and, uh, doggy treats. No, no. Dinner and dancing will win her heart. But first, darling, you must do something about your voice. What's wrong with my voice? A woman of culture likes the sweet talk. May we? Well, I don't know. Buck up, boy. It just takes a little self-confidence. My body quivers with confidence. Some bonbons, Mansell? Oh, but I'm always getting the flowers and candy. Then let us dance and put on the kid bag at the fancy schmancy restaurant. Oh, I guess that means bon voyage, oui? Let's bail him out. <clears throat> Say, hey, Peppy, where's all the action, Mr. Excitement? Where to tonight? Maybe the uh, amusement park? Oh, that would be wild, fantastic. Nepal, you handsome blue thing. Hey, don't look at me. It's uh, Peppy's idea. I've always wanted to let my fur down like the normal dog. And let's kick up our heels, too. Oh! Get with it, Peppy. I'll bet a balloon will sweep your sweetie off her feet. Where, my man? Brigitte will never like me now. Hang in there, Squirt. Will you see my next idea? There's nothing more romantic than a meal for two under the stars. at the fashion show. Model some silly-looking clothes for a freezing female? Oh, no way, Blueface. We'll clean you up, dear, won't we, girls? Do you really think you can? I will give you a hairstyle that will be fantastical. Oh, I'm ruined. This entry form is useless without my Bridget. And who put this trashy-looking butt in our dressing room? Show! She can't model looking like this. I'm ruined. Oh, oh, this is horrible. Cheer up, Bridget, baby. Check me out in these fresh threads. And so, my man, you have given me a plan. Snake that entry form, Rocky Girl. The next fashions are from the House of Hounds. 
Keep those long hound dog ears cozy in these colorful ear warmers. Maybe I can get out of here without being seen. And now, Togs and Tags proudly presents its new fashion lineup. Togs and Tags? Your dog will be the best one around when he tees off in this gold cap and matching knicker. <laughs> Tongues will twirl when your little boot steps out in this tutu in all new puppy pastel. Lazy does it in this laid back look for the casual canine. We mustn't forget fashion for the dog with a generous figure. Tails will wag at this dapper dinner wardrobe. And this karate original really is the cat's meow. Togs and tags offers everything from top dog to the coolest cat in town. My career is ruined. Ladies and gentlemen, Roberto Ritchie! <laughs> Mr. Ritchie, your everyday fashion for the everyday dog have made you Doggy Designer of the Year! To think, my cousin is a famous fashion designer. <laughs> you flea bags look ridiculous! With these new dog models, I can cover every fashion show on the circuit. Uh-oh, Droops. That's our cue to pack it in. You won't fit away that easy. <laughs> My dog models, they're gone. <sighs> we got away by the skin of our tails. Not the clothes that make the dog, it's the dog that makes the clothes. Nothing relaxes me like a good army picture. Louis, darling, why watch this Pony Baroni movie when I can tell you how it really happened? You were there, Fritz Carlos? No, 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 don't get him started. The Foreign Legion showered me with honors, and I have the medal to prove it. Quick, let's get out of here before he gets back. Look at all the pretty parachutes. I'm back, darlings. I just love it when they yell. No, no, not the G-way. Geronimo! <laughs> Geronimo! That's it. I've had it with these cockamamie army stories of yours. The Foreign Legion wouldn't take a run like you in the first place. You are wrong, my one-time friend. And I will prove it. One side, Pooper, darling. Whoa, oh, oh, my man. Where's the fire? It's a top secret. Remember, loose lips, I sink ships. Hmm, my lips aren't loose. <laughs> uh, what's the fire love, troops? Oh, Foofer, I thought Fritz Carlos locked himself in his room again. I just saw Fritzy running down the street babbling about loose ships. Oh, no. Fritz circled an ad for the Army recruiting station. It looks like Fritz Carlos has gone off to re-enlist, all right. Step to it, Lewis. You and I got to stop him. Come on, my man. Hold up there, Foof. It's Melvin Harvey. Hey, hey, Fritz, my man. Lewis came to apologize. Ha! Uh, Fritz Carlos, uh, whatever I said, I didn't mean it there. <sighs> Darling, I am genuinely touched. Besides, for the size of these recruits, you wouldn't last a day. <laughs> you come to insult me again. Hey, you promised me three more dogs. 
There they are. <laughs> you gotta be kidding. All right, let's get them on board. <laughs> At ease, recruits. You're in the army now. Genius Fritz Carlos reporting, sir. The fruit de loo for perfect attendance. Let me tell you, darling, when I was in the foreign... Bop it, Frenchie. This ain't no foreign legion. And you're gonna do things my way. Knock it off of the foreign legion, will you? Hey, fatso. Save your breath. Look who's talking. You could stop a tank with yours. You too, little boy blue. You'll need it for the training drills. Okay, Frenchie, you and little boy Blue are up next. Attack! Uh, I'm the non-violent type, you know. Uh, can't we work this out? <laughs> I'll have you surrounded! Great strategy there, Fritz Carlos, but here's a shortcut. You know, I've never been good with heights, Spoofer, darling. Recruit, I want you front and center. I want you to yell... Don't say it, Sarge. Geronimo! Geronimo? Geronimo! I volunteer to go again, Sarge, darling. Don't call me darling! Man, this dog's dog tired. At least it can't get any worse, darling. Yeah, look what's coming there. You guys have been assigned the dog detail. What was that about things getting worse, Fritz Carlos? Hey, chill out, Lewis. We're only here for, what, uh, three weeks tops? Think again, little boy what? Blue. You're mine for three more years. Why don't you sign us up as weekend recruits? I got a plan, see? It'll be the best con we ever pulled. Well, little boy Blue, I hope you and your buddies are enjoying yourselves. You know, Sarge, looking at you, I see why they call G.I.'s dog faces. Just for that, you and your buddies can dig holes for the next week. This was a fantastically bad idea. I wish we were home. I'm glad you said it first, Fritzy, because I've got a plan for busting out of here tonight. Wow! That's the mother load of dog food, Harv. We can sell it for a fortune on the outside. No, you're a genius. And after tonight, I'll be a rich genius. Oh, looks like we're missing three sleeping beauties. And I can't wait to get my paws on them. Someone's coming. Come out, come out, wherever you are, Frenchie. To the rear march, man. Nobody! 
we're gonna crash into the barracks. And everybody inside to sleep there. I'll save them, darling. <laughs> You sure saved our hides, Lewis. Ah, uh, it was nothing any other hero wouldn't do. Freeze right there, you runaways. Sarge, look, look. The, the truck's coming back. <laughs> and it's headed right for the ammo depot. What are your orders, Sarge? Uh, I, 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 I don't know. Uh, anybody got an idea? What would you say, Frith boy, that I'm too old to hand? Well, I'd say Geronimo. Geronimo? <laughs> Disagree, darling. You are absolutely more fantastic than that. Eh, uh, you were braver than me, dear. I don't get it, Uncle Cooper. Louis used to hate hearing army stories. Well, Rocky, my girl, to see where someone else is coming from, sometimes you gotta march a mile in another dog's fleet car. Give somebody else a shot. And stay away. She's cute, kind of coy. She's a flirting how. She turns me on with one. Stop begging for her noise. I'm kind of like your sidekick, right? Now I just uh, hang around waiting for my main man, Spencer, to tell me what to do. That's incredible. Yeah, ain't it, though? I wanted to apologize for the way that my owner behaved. Did Captain Tutley hurt you? Never touched him. Hey, isn't he the guy with the big shindig at the museum? Captain Tutley is a famous archaeologist. Archaeologist? Uh, digging up old junk. Oh, yeah. I really dig all that, that, uh, digging. <laughs> Why, Fencer would just love to have a peek at Tutley's exhibit. I'd be delighted to serve as your guide. 
You know, you look awfully familiar. You're probably mistaking me for one of them cats on TV. Eee! I'll just hang out here so you two kids can be alone. This is Katsupsu, the sacred pet of Pharaoh Osmosis. Katsupsu's mummy is inside. Man, now that cat was ugly. Fencer, he looks exactly like you. I mean, he's ugly in a um, ha -ha handsome kind of way. What? <laughs> you must be related to Katsupsu. Hey, how'd you cats get in here? You'll like my family. They're all dogs like Fufa. Then you truly must be descended from royalty. Yeah, uh, they treat me just like a king. Oh, that I must see. Now what am I gonna do, Foof? Stay cool, my man. We'll back you up. Say hey, your top Katniss. I'll shake ahead to prepare for your uh, entrance. I ain't taking the orders from no cat. But, Louis, dear, it's for love. Besides, what harm can it do, Louis, darling? Subjects, on your knees before your pharaoh. This is gonna be a long day. More grapes. I'm peeling as fast as I can out of your pharaoh list. Hey, Fitz, lighten up, my man. Silence, dog. I think the dude's pushed it into the red zone. Yeah! Shame! You can't treat Fencer like this. He's royalty. You got that right. A royal pain. Come to the museum with me, and I'll prove that Fencer is descended from King. Whoa there. Something stinks in Detroit. Are you in cahoots with Fencer? I say we go, Louis, darling. This could be fantastic. Good morning, Captain Tutley. You haven't let anyone into the exhibit early, have you? Oh, no, sir. Ain't nobody been near it. What do you know? This guy, Tomato Soup, really does look like Fencer. Yeah, but looking like a king doesn't make you a king, my man. How did you dogs get in here? I'll get you this time. Is the mummy damaged? Hey, it's worse! Foofer's right, Fencer. It doesn't matter who your ancestors were. You're still just a plain old alley cat. You aren't fit companions for a descendant of Egyptian royalty. Fencer, come travel with us for the rest of our tour. Hey, hey hold on, my man. You better noodle it over before you... Save it, Foof. It's like my destiny. My whole tour is ruined without the mummy. Oh, I need another cat soft soup. Captain Tutley's face will light up when he sees you. Meow! <gasps> what luck! <laughs> I found my cat soup. <laughs> What's this dude gonna do with me, Cleo? Oh, dear. Out of bandages. Now, where did I put that extra roll of gauze? Oh, now I remember. It's at the museum. The reception starts any minute. Let's hit the afterburners, troops. Yeah, Fence is too young to be a mummy. Aha! And now to wrap this up. Oh, <laughs> 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 
Discovery, the lost mummy of cat sop soup. something you're not. You might find yourself up the Nile without a path. Get ready to lose yourself in the beauty and the wonder of a journey through fairyland. Just when Michael finds himself out of tune with this world, he finds himself in total harmony with another world and in love with a special new friend. She takes him on a magical trip to those wondrous places where all beautiful things come from, Flowerland and the incredible music land, where you'll meet the most lovable characters to ever fill your screen. The Cuddle Bubbles, the Flower Fairies, and the most mischievous little eighth note ever, Treble. It's a journey you'll never forget through a world of breathtaking beauty adrift on the flow of endless music. I have come here to see my God. From original love songs to great masterpieces from the world of symphonies. small sampling isn't enough to convince you, listen to what the critics have to say. Young viewers should be uplifted by the images of love and success in this gentle tale. Adults too will find the animation and music compelling. Stunning sequences to jumpstart a child's developing imagination. And something like a journey through fairyland comes along once in a great while, best to snap it up while it's here. Recorded in stunning stereo by the famed Tokyo Philharmonic, this full-length animated feature is the perfect introduction to classical music for all. 
for an experience to remember forever you don't want to miss a journey through fairyland. Enjoy enchanting excitement from an Academy Award-winning producer's sparkling world of rich animation in The Elm Chanted Forest. Discover the wonderful world under the trees in this fantasy forest. Meet some unforgettable characters as they fight against a cruel cactus king. I am Peter Pallet, artist and lover of nature. You slept under the mystic elm. Now you are elm-chanted, and the whole forest can speak to you. But you must take care. <laughs> Did I not order all fevers executed? There is only one, one left, my cactus king. Cleaver the beaver, fool! And bring the painter here for lunch. For Lunch? It's a wooded wonderland your children will love to visit time and time again. And it's all beautifully highlighted by fully orchestrated original music. Magical mischief and feature length fantasy. It's the Elm Chanted Forest. Let it work its magic for you. There's no better pals to make you laugh and sing than those cleverest of critters, the Bluffers. That's right, it's your old friends with some new adventures. They're back with more music and fun full of magical mischief. Well done, well done. We've shaved the forest. Brick over that grubby greenery. Oh, brilliant. I am brilliant. That crazy clandestino's up to his evil tricks again with his wrong way robot, Silico. But Honey Boy, Regal Eagle, Zip, Ginseng, Duck, Zock, Prickly Pine, Vixen, and the rest of the Bluffers bunch aren't going to let clandestino ruin Bluffunia with his wicked ways. Join the Bluffers and all the fun in this ultimate Bluffers presentation with more adventures than ever before. 101 minutes of pure Bluffers fun. Meet the award-winning film star who's capturing the hearts of kids all over the world. He's the Little Fox, the enchanting creature whose cartoon movie is a smash in Europe and is working its magic on American shores. Based on a best-selling children's book, The Little Fox is sure to be a treasured children's classic for years to come. It's the tale of Vic, the roly-poly cub, orphaned, then raised by a wise and kind uncle. Kids will be delighted watching Vic as he learns the ways of the forest, grows strong and smart, and falls in love with a foxy young friend. The personality of each creature of the woods comes alive in this top quality feature the entire family will adore. It's a wondrous tale kids will love watching again and again. The Little Fox. If you find the place where the Ripple River flows, right near the valley of moss where the tall grass grows, <laughs> it's here you'll find a village that is known as Ganterville. Meet the Gallivants. Puny pals with some powerful lessons. There's Shando. He's got a lot to learn. No gets allowed. No problem. I've got the solution right here. A whistleberry? How's that gonna help? Watch. See? Kabumps. Just like full-grown vanters. And Titor. He's an instructant. Soon it will be kabumping day when each of you will get your kabump. But first, you must go through granting, a process that will determine your future role in the Gallivant Society. And there's the rest of the Gallivants. There's infants and construct ants and music ants and adolescents. They become adults when they earn their kabumps. And there's all kinds of other Gallivant pals. 
they'll turn sadness to happiness with a warm double hug and show you that anything is possible, but only if you try your hardest. It's no use, Shando. I just don't have a tongue for these things. Don't give up, Koosh. You can do it. Discover the pals you'll go buggy over, because kids are just burning with anticipation for the gallivants. Seabird's the bravest of them all. Seabird is always at your call. Whatever the case may be, he'll win the victory. The villain's always turn to the fall. He's Seabird, the home box office success story and dynamic new addition to our Just for Kids family. In Seabird 2, our hero seal, Pell Tommy, and Eskimo friend Ara embark on unbelievable new missions to save the endangered animals of the world. Seabird's enchanting mix of education and excitement make it an irresistible treat for kids of all ages. And parents appreciate this delightful show for its important messages of friendship. So let's hear it for Seabird, everyone. The perfect program for the entire family to share. Coming to you in Seabird 2. Hear it for Seabird. Hooray! Your home's rainbows in your head. It's the magic lollipop adventure. A kaleidoscope of color and charm that every child will adore. Let the magic of this wondrous, whimsical land surround you and take you on a journey filled with dragons, kings, evil villains, and the most delightful music ever. Sing a happy song while you're walking. Don't let your head do too much talking. Keep your mind on happy things. There's always another tale of excitement for the lollipop lovers of this rainbow-painted land. It's the Magic Lollipop Adventure. Meet the kooks who chase spooks, the Ghostbusters. It's an animated series with adventure, fun, and of course, scary creatures of the supernatural kind. Now, I shall bring together all ghosts and creatures of the night. Under my rule, we shall easily conquer the Earth. <laughs> no one would be foolish enough to try to stop ghosts. The ghost remover will send her back to Ghostland for a while. Busted. Congratulations, partners. I think we just busted our first ghosts. Their ghostly mission is to foil fright makers anywhere, anytime. Time and space pose no limits on where they can travel when they crank up their jaunty jalopy. These busters are booming because kids are going batty over them. Let's go, go, busters! Let the spirits of fun scare you, silly. <laughs> when ghosts, goblins, spirits, and spooks come your way, who's going to save the day? Ghostbusters! Revenge of the prime evil. We're proud to present the winner of the prestigious Gemini Award for the best animated series, Ovid. Your host, look outside, look out, Bobo, party crashing, so no, no, I'll catch that sneaky snake, cries right below. Tough luck, son, you super sly, but Groner no grow smarty, can ruin Ovid's party. Oh, no? The joint is hopping, come on, let's drop in, for more tall tales of Ovid video. Video! The gang's all here, let's get on with the show. Yeah, let's go! And now, Tall Tales of Ovid video. Ovid's enchanted magical world is a South Seas paradise just bursting with fuzzy, furry characters like those three cuddly koala kids, Do Re Mi, the wacky, worm chasing lizard, Polo, the platypus punster, Grona, the chicken loving, egomaniac, Saffron and the sleepiest, laziest sloth ever, Alvin. In endless, side-splitting, riotous action, they match their collective wits against two wily half-wits, Sai, the sneaky snake, and his unbelievably bird-brained buddy, 
Bobo. With television screens popping up all over the place, no one ever runs out of ideas for getting into or out of trouble. You won't believe your eyes and ears. It's a knockout of a show. <laughs> Chuck full of belly laughs. Two hours and ten episodes big. It's OV, an award-winning production that's become a video dream come true. <laughs>